Right off the bat, I do have to add, this is probably one of the more higher capacity wallet cases. Real usage, real reviews. MobileReviewsA.ca Hey, it's Aaron from MobileReviewsA.ca and today we're gonna to do a quick up close overview of the 12 Self Bookbook. This is a wallet case for your iPhone 5 and your 5S. Before I go do my own thing and kind of talk about what I see, I've got here a short description of what 12 Self describes the book book, and it's an all-in-one vintage leather case plus wallet. It's handmade genuine leather case protects iPhone style. Includes wallet pockets for ID, cards, and cash. Unique book design disguises iPhone for added security. So those are basically the key features of the uh, 12 South book book according to 12 South. Now, right off the bat, I do have to add, this is probably one of the more higher capacity wallet cases that we've come across given that it can hold four cards. I've got four cards and a wad of cash in it and it closes, which is nice. So the front of the case is, you know, encased in leather. I don't know about the quality of the leather, but the stitching um, does seem a little rough. Like the holes where the needle goes through um, seems really rough compared to some of the other cases that we've seen. The spine, I'm sure it's leather. It looks like it's been worn down a bit. The spine has these little bumps on it and they're kind of worn down so it doesn't look like it's new leather. It kind of makes, I guess, 12 South was going with an antiquity, antique looking <laughs> book. Um, it says book book on it. It's got a couple of symbols on it. It says volume five. Now, if you're looking at it from this direction, if you're a thief, you might be able to pass it by as a book. But when you look at it from the side, you definitely know that there's, you know, a phone in it and then you look at the back and there's a giant hole in it for the camera and the flash. Now the back is made of the same leather from the front um, but there's also this giant hole for the camera and the flash and from what I can tell it's you know it, everything is there but it looks really roughly put together so it looks like there's a bit of glue that kind of spilt over and whatnot so Everything fits, nothing seems to be falling apart, but the uh, craftsmanship seems a little low in comparison to some of the other cases that we've done, like the pad and quill cases. Now on the inside, as I mentioned before, this is one of the higher capacity cases. I've got four cards and a wad of cash in here, and I think I could probably put another card in here. So on the one side, where the card side is, you've got this transparent thing for your ID card. So you can go put your driver's license and then you've got three additional slots. So I've got, you know, two credit cards and a, you know, air miles card. And then here you've got a pocket for your cash. And all of this seems to have some pretty good give to it. A lot of the leather cases that we've used, you kind of have to work uh, your cards into it. You have to kind of work the leather case into uh, your life. And I'm guessing that's probably not different than, you know, any other leather product that you're going to be using. Now, it's a leather encased case. The leather, the wallet portion is leather as well, but the phone portion is kind of this felty soft stuff. I don't know what the exact term is. So the entire case, it's not a full leather case for your phone and your wallet. It's a partial case, if that makes any sense. Now your phone sits in like this um, and it's kind of classed together. Now, I had a, a book book for the iPhone 4 and it was a kind of a leather, leather bag that held the phone and that kind of stretched out quite a bit over time and so I'm interested to see how well the clip-on case uh, works. I just kind of noticed that there's glue on the side of the plastic grapple part. Taking it out isn't actually that easy. The one part comes out but you kind of have to really, I don't know, push it out. Like it's not the most friendly case to take apart. So if you're one of those people like us who believe that these accessories, you need the right accessories for the right um, time, this case might not, be that, might not be the one for you since it seems pretty hard to take it apart and I don't know how strong this actual backing is. But as you can see, the backing is not leather. It is just this kind of soft foam thing. It's not even foam, it's just felt. And well, I guess it's like a plastic cradle in the back. A plastic cradle that's glued to, you know, this entire leather case. Hmm, interesting. Other than that, I, one of the things, like this top corner here, you know, I can see some of the plastic, like, it's a well thought out idea. It's a higher capacity case, but compared to some of the other leather cases that we've paid kind of the same amount for, the quality is a bit lower on the book that we've noticed. So, 
That's the up close uh, overview for the 12 South book book. We've done a full review for it, so ch do check out the annotations at the end of the video. Also, we'll have the links in the comments section below. I'm Aaron Daho. I'm a reviewer at mobilereviewsa.ca. If you have any questions about this case, leave them in the comments section below. We'll answer them. Uh, if you have any questions, you can also post them on Google+, Plus, Twitter, and Facebook. We are on there as well. Click subscribe as we come up with new accessory reviews every single week, which is, you know, awesome in our case because we got to make all these videos. So if this was helpful to you, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you're looking, if you know somebody who's looking for a wallet case, please share this with them as it may be very helpful to them. Um, thank you for watching and keep everything safe generally in this case.